Finally, guys, breaking news. Tyler Marsh has been officially named as Chicago Sky's new head coach, okay? Tyler Marsh used to work as an assistant coach for the Las Vegas Aces, okay? He worked alongside Becky Hammond and former assistant coach of the Las Vegas Aces, Natalie Nakase, who is, she is now has just been hired as the new head coach for the Golden State Valkyries. For ESPN, it says Tyler Marsh agrees to be the next coach of the Chicago Sky. It says Tyler Marsh has agreed become the new head coach of Chicago Sky with the sides coming to terms on a multi-year deal agent and the Andy Miller of Clutch Sports told ESPN March an assistant coach uh, an assistant coach and head of player development with the Las Vegas Aces takes over our promising Sky team that includes Angel Reese and Camila Cardoso both first round draft picks earlier this year says the Sky will also participate in the upcoming draft lottery but because of a pick swap with Dallas they will not end up with the number one pick Winners of the 2021 WNBA title, Chicago fired Teresa Witherspoon on September 26, following 11 months at the helm. The team finished 13 to 27, narrowly missing the playoffs with Reese Cardoso and star Kennedy Carter, all injured to close the season. The Sky have host have a host of free agents entering 2025, including Carter, but with Marsh at the helm, will look to build around Reese and Cardoso. I hope that he, um, you know, is in talks with Kennedy Carter and he is able to actually, you know, uh, retain her. Says Marsh joined the Aces staff upon Becky Hammond's arrival in 2022, helping guide Las Vegas to back-to-back -back WNBA championships in 2022 and 23. Prior to that, he worked in the NBA, spending two years as an assistant coach of player development with the Indiana Pacers after serving an assistant video coordinator and player development coach for the Toronto Raptors. He also spent three seasons as an assistant coach in the G League. Says Marsh's departure marks the second assistant coach vacancy on Hammond's staff. Natalie Nakase, Hammond's first assistant coach, took the head coaching job for the expansion Golden State Valkyries last month. The Aces, whose three-peat title bid fell short with the loss to the New York Liberty in the semifinals, are set to return the core of Asia Wilson, Chelsea Gray, and Jackie Young, but Kelsey Plum is set to enter free agency. There have been seven head coach openings in the WNBA this offseason. Marsh's hiring leaves five of those jobs still unfulfilled. Los Angeles, Dallas, Washington, Atlanta, and Connecticut. According to Elias Sports Bureau, next season will be the first time in WNBA history, not including the league's inaugural year, where there were seven new head coaches to start the season. Also, guys, Angel Reese also reacted to the news of, of her new coach, new head coach, that is Tyler Marsh. Okay, I'll just put up this tweet right here. It's just a simple W, like a W for win. Again, Angel Reese, she seems to be in agreement, okay, and she's completely on board with this. So that's a good positive reaction. Again, Angel Reese is a very pop positive uh, young woman. And I'm sure that, you know, she's ready, willing, and excited to give this new head coach a chance. So there we have it, guys. We officially now have our head coach for the Chicago Sky. I'm actually very happy with this. Tyler Marsh, he's a very attractive, handsome man, okay? I got to give it to him. I believe he's married with, okay, ladies, stop the barking. He has a wife and children, okay? But everybody was like, you know, Tyler is fine. And who's that, you know, who's the assistant of Becky Hammond for the Las Vegas Aces? But enough about that, enough with that chat. You know, again, he has a lot of coaching experience. I'm not sure if he played basketball, but in that ESPN article, it shows that, you know, he has assistant, uh, assistant coaching experience in the NBA as well as the WNBA. Again, I'm excited for my Chicago Sky. Again, these fools was talking about Latricia Trammell, okay, being the next head coach of the organization. I said, we really cannot let that happen. We cannot allow them to let us fail like this, okay, in this act of clownery. Again, I believe the ladies of the Chicago Sky will like him. Okay, not like that. Okay, hopefully not like that. Okay, I believe Angel Reese, I think she just tweeted something. I think she's in agreement with this. You know, I believe Tyler Marsh is he going to get it done. He is the one. Okay, I'm very excited and happy for this news. Because I was like, come on, guys. Just the other day, Stephanie White, she was named the, the, the new head coach of Indiana Fever. I'm like Chicago. Girl, it's been, what, September 26th when y'all fired Teresa Weatherspoon. It's been over a month. Make something shake. I know people putting in their applications. So hopefully they pay this man well. Hopefully they treat him well. Hopefully the, you know, the, the players have a great relationship with Mr. Tyler Marsh. Okay, it's not no more drama and beefing. You know, the veterans not being raggedy towards the, the rookies. Okay, they're no longer rookies. But let's say in the 2025 season, whoever is going to, we're going to have come on as rookies for the Chicago Sky. Hopefully the vets, you know, take them under their wing. Ain't no jealousy, no envy, no no woo-woo-woo, backstabbing and, and foolishness going on in the locker room, right? They build that great team chemistry, that locker room chemistry. And they just, you know, they come together and come with the championship. I'm excited to see what Tyler Marsh can do for this, this team. And again, guys, you know what? That we all know that Chicago Sky, that front office is still a hot mess. They're still raggedy. Again, I believe it's the owners, Jeff Pagliaca, and even, you know, the co-owners such as um, Nadia Rawlinson. I believe that, you know, she can be kind of problematic. 
they questioned her about firing Spoon, and she was just kind of dancing around. The the um the question at the uh, the new Chicago Skies practice facility opening it was cutting the ribbons, and she was just like, you know, forget y'all. I don't have to answer these questions. We're not here for that. We're not here to talk about the firing of Spoon. We're here to you know open up the new practice facility. So it's like you know what, just the the attitudes of the front office, the general managers, the the co owners. It's been rubbing me and just a lot of the fans the wrong way. Again, guys, he worked besides Becky Hammond. He was there with, helping them with that championship win back in 2022 and 2023. I believe this is great. I just really wish that he can – I hope that he's able to retain Kennedy Carter again. That should be the, the starting three, okay? I'll say the five, okay? Kennedy Carter, Camilla Cardoso, Injuries, Michaela Onyanwe, and should we give it, give it to Lindsay Allen? Should she be a starter for next year? Is she still around? Okay, for now, I'll say Lindsay Allen. I believe Tyler – he should be able to coach them and just like bring out the best of our talents again. Just hopefully he can actually retain Kennedy Carter. Guys, comment down below your thoughts on Tyler Marsh becoming the new head coach of the Chicago Sky.